What's up, guys? Austin Newman here with Learning 5, where you can learn After Effects tutorials in just five minutes or less. And in classic fashion, we're going to jump right into learning how to put a VHS effect on any type of HD footage you might have. And this is what we are going to learn how to do today. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Create a new composition. So new composition, 1920 by 1080. I'm doing a frame rate of 29.97, so 30 frames a second. So let's go ahead and start with a new adjustment layer. This is very easy, guys, so just stay with me. So we're going to take this adjustment layer here, and we're going to grab one of these squares and just move it like this, and that should be about a good size. Okay, We just kind of want it a little bit small. Now, while holding Shift, we're going to grab this and drag it up, and we're going to select this layer here. Hit P on your keyboard to bring up position, and we're going to go about maybe 15 frames in, keyframe that position, go to about 4 seconds, and while you have your timeline right here at the four second mark, I want you to click, hold down shift, and drag down so it'll get you a really nice straight line right off the screen below here. So it'll just kind of move on its own. Let's go ahead and select both of these really quick and right click to bring up our keyframe properties. Go down to keyframe assistant and easy ease both of these just to make it look really nice. So it does add a little bit of value. So right now you're not really seeing anything happen, which is fine. Let's go ahead and bring in our footage that we want to make look like VHS footage. And what I want to do with this footage is I want to add a box blur to it. And let's go ahead and set that value to 1. And remember, guys, we have our test footage selected here. We have the footage that we want to turn into VHS footage is where we're putting all this. Let's go ahead and add some grain onto that as well. And the grain should be about right. This is about where we want to be with the grain. So that looks fine to me. And then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and offset it. So we will go down to distort and offset. Let's go about maybe 110. One second, 10 frames is where I'm going to put this. We're going to toggle down our footage that we're changing or adding this to. Go to offset. This way we have a little bit more control over our keyframes. And I'm going to go ahead and set a keyframe for shift center 2, okay? Right here. And then maybe about three frames down, we're going to move it to where it does this. So we're going to move it to about 1,000, 1,005, something around there. And then go over a couple more frames, about three frames, and then take this value and move it again, except to the other side, just a little bit. All to your taste. And then go down four frames, and then go back to the original position, which was 960. Actually, that's a little jarring. Let's move this maybe a little less. There we go. It'll just be a little bit easier. All right. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and mess with the adjustment layer now. So while you have your adjustment layer selected, Go to Displacement Map. Okay, We're going to go to Distort and Displacement Map. Add that, and we're going to take these two values, the Horizontal Displacement and Vertical Displacement. We'll take Horizontal to 20 and Vertical to 104. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Command-D to duplicate on Mac. Pull up P to bring up the position, and let's scoot this down just a little bit to where it's just a little bit faster. Just pull this last keyframe over and it'll do something like that. And since my footage has this uh, crop on it, it's a letterbox, we're going to go ahead and scale this up a little bit just to avoid that. Next, I'll add some text to throw some authenticity to it. And since I have this authentic VCR OSD mono font that I found on Defont, I will go ahead and link it below so you can use it too. Play, and maybe a date of some sort. And now that we've added this text here, we would want this text to react to one of these layers. So since we have two displacement layers, okay, let's go ahead and just click on one of them. Let's click on the top one. And right up here where we selected our displacement layer, let's go to play. Let's select the displacement map layer as play. And that means it'll react to that layer now. All right, so the last thing that we need to do to really sell this thing is to make it look a little bit more official. So in order to do that, we probably need to separate the RGB channels just like they did in the old VHS tapes. Select our layer here, and we're going to go to Effect, Channel, Set Channels, okay? So I want you to set channel, set red to source off. Set green to source off. So this will be our blue channel. What I want you to do is I want you to, while you have this layer selected, Command-D and duplicate it twice. So the, the next one, 
we want to set blue off and set green to on. And this next one, I need you to set blue to off and red to on. And now we toggle switches and modes and we go down to add on all three of these. It's starting to look a little bit more normal. So what we want to do is we want to bring up P for position and we want to move this over a little bit to the right. And that should give us that kind of offset look for these different channels. And let's go ahead and do the same for this one. Let's move it to the left a little bit. There we go. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this with your friends, tell everyone that they can learn After Effects in five minutes or less. And if you wanna check out some of my work, you can follow me at Austin Makes Films, which you'll see right here in the lower left-hand corner. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later. Baby.